Hello, hi, welcome back. We are doing a reading slump vlog today, so let's just get into that, okay? Sup guys, so ever since I finished reading my last series to all the boys I loved before, I've kind of been in a reading slump and I haven't read in a really long time even though I really, really want to. I mean, it doesn't help that I have very limited time on my hands. I heard from a booktuber that they thought that the best way to get out of a reading slump is to reread a favorite. And since it is October right now and soon to be Halloween, I decided to pick up a spooky favorite. This book holds four books, four spooky easy reads that I personally think are awesome. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. Cupcake liner. I need a bookmark. Magnus Bane. That's my phone's name. And I was down in this odyssey. Hard to leave a hold at the bridge. I've got my reason. In this Hello. Hi. Welcome back to our home. I was just about to sit down and read since I just got done filming, as you can probably probably tell by that I look the same as last week's video. And then I realized I haven't updated you guys about my reading in a long time. By a long time, I mean like a week and a half. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sorry, this, this is why I need to practice vlogging. I'm really, really bad at it, so. I finished this book. Well, books. I finished these books. There's four books in this in this book. Um, I liked them. Um, you know, they're 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 books. I read them because they're spooky, and I know what happened in them because I read them in high school. So they're kind of like spooky classics for me. Just dark enough to maybe really get me into the Halloween spirit because I always love the Halloween spirit. Um, and you know, I realized a few things. It's been several years since I read them last, and I was like, you know what? These aren't the greatest books I've ever read, but they're not that bad. They are not that bad. So then after I finish that book, those books, it's difficult since they're just in one book to think of them as something separate, but there's four books. And apparently, I learned this, Apparently there's more books than just these four in this series, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Also, I went and I picked up some books, and one of them was this book, and I started reading it, and then I didn't stop reading it. And I took it to my in-laws house and read it all that day, and didn't vlog that one because I forgot, and two, when I got there and then I remembered I should probably be vlogging this, there were children there and a lot of crazy things happening and I was like, you know what, it's probably good that I don't vlog this. And so I, you know, just read it in between chit chats with family and it's really good. I like that there are pictures and so you don't have to like 100% use your imagination, which, you know, my imagination can only take me so far. I like knowing what they're actually legitimately talking about, and it was really spooky, and I started reading it because Jesse the reader told me to read it. Well, he didn't tell me to read it, but he's kind of like, you know you hear your friends talking about things over and over and over again, and then you're just like, man, I gotta check that out. Yeah, kind of, kind of, that's what happened. That's, that's what happened exactly. So I read it, and I liked it, and I have ordered the other two, three, how many, three? 
And I have ordered the other books and they're on their way to me and I cannot wait to finish that series. So hopefully this is the series that gets me out of my slump. Now, if you saw my current obsessions video, you know, you know. Anywho, this book came in the mail. I read it like that. I literally finished it this afternoon and it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I read it so fast, too fast probably, because now I'm slightly having withdrawals. So, this book is cute, I like it. It's pink, I like it. And it's in letter form, I like it. So check this book out, because I bought it, I don't regret it, I needed it in my life. And I've already read it. And I love it. So now I'm thinking that I'm gonna start this book. Um, War Cross. I took off the, the jacket because I can't read books when they have their jackets on if they're hardcovers because it just bothers me. So I've already started, I'm on page six. I started reading it after I read Miss Peregrine's but I stayed up really late to read Miss Peregrine's and the spell wasn't broken until I started reading another book and then I was like, dudes, it's like morning. You need sleep because you have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> so I stopped on page six and put it away. And then the next day this came and so I read it instead. Yes. So you haven't missed much. All I've done is read four, five, six books. I've only read six books since last time. And now I'm on my, my seventh book, so hopefully it goes all right. Oh, also, I got a bookmark when I went and bought those other books, so I have a bookmark. I didn't buy it, knowing it had a tassel, but I kind of like it, although I'm pretty sure people think it's annoying because I keep doing this. And by people, I mean Caleb, because he's the only one that's ever around me when I'm reading. Well, I had good intentions with this vlog. Then life happened. Isn't that always the way though life happens? Anyway, where did I leave you guys off? I was reading Warcross. I think it's the last time I updated you was I was reading Warcross. Okay. These are the books I read during my slump to get me out of my slump. I'll explain. So, uh, last vlog, I was reading one of these books. I can't remember which one. I know I would definitely vlog reading this book. I also live tweeted it, so if you really wanna go see what my thoughts were on both of these books, I live tweeted both of these books, um, you can go check out my Twitter. And I loved them so much. This book is so good, and I just was so glad that I, you know, went and got the, I went and got the sequel because I, I, I needed it in my life and 
waiting for it was actually very difficult. I ordered it before I finished reading this book because I knew I was gonna need it, but I didn't get here till like a day or so after. Um, so I finished this book, was dying, and then I read Hollow City while I was waiting for it because I had read Miss Peregrine's and I loved it so much. I read it because Jesse the Reader is always talking about it and so I, I picked it up because it was a spooky read and I just I needed to know and so then I got the rest of the series and I, so I finished I read Hollow City while I was waiting for Wild Card and this book I literally had to physically put down and walk away from because I was so shook I didn't I didn't expect that I mean I expected a lot of things but that was not one of the things that I expected. Then after I read all of those, I had picked up some new books between while I was reading those last two. While I was reading Wild Card and Hollow City, I went and I went to the bookstore and picked up some more books. And What If It's Us, I saw this one and I I was kind of feeling a little schlumpy. I was like, how can you get schlumpy in a schlump? Anyway, so I picked it up and I read it because I was like, you know what, I just I just need this right now because I had read the first chapter in in Leah and I I knew I was gonna love it. I mean from the very first paragraph, I knew I was going to love the dude that was from that perspective, Arthur. I knew I was gonna love him. And so I did and I sat down and I read it so fast and I don't think I vlogged it at all and I don't think I live tweeted it at all. I just I couldn't not read it. It was so cute, guys. I loved it so much. I'm so, so glad that this book exists. And I just, I fangirled so many times throughout it. It was just awesome. So naturally I'm reading Library of Souls and continuing on with the Miss Peregrines. I'm not that far into it because I've gotten really busy lately. A lot of things keep happening to me and I'm dealing with it the best that I can, but these books are definitely helping. I think I think I'm finally getting out of my reading slump if I can find the time to read. And another book that I'm reading is Dear Evan Hansen. I picked this up at the same time I picked up What If It's Us and <laughs> I know, right? If you've read What If It's Us, you know why this is hilarious, but I love this play. I love the music from it, the story is fantastic, and I'm not that far into it, but since I've already seen the play, I kind of know what it's all about, so. It's just making me happy. It's making me happy. It's adding so much more to the whole story, and it's making me love Dear Evan Hansen so much more. So much more. And so, I'm, I'm enjoying reading these books. That's it. To get out of my reading schlump, I started with I started with four short books that I read in high school that I knew I loved and I wanted to revisit and see if I liked them as much. Basic short stories. I there there's four in here and I just went on from there. What I did do is I scrapped my TBR pile. These are my TBR books. These are all the books that I told myself I'm going to read. I looked at it and I was just like, nah. To be fair though, some of these books weren't on there. I added this one and this one and this one. Went last time I went shopping, so I added a few. Made my pile a little bit bigger. But, you know, I just, I scrapped my TBR, went back to the basics, back to something I knew, then I looked for whatever vibe I was feeling after that, and I went and I got it and I read it. And I didn't tell myself I was going to read the next one right away if I didn't like it, but luckily I did on all of these ones, and so I just, I went with my mood. I didn't force it, and luckily I stumbled upon some really great books that I have been in love with. I guess my recommendations to you if you're in a reading slump is go back to something that you know you liked that you don't know that well. Maybe it will change your mind about it and maybe it'll lead you to another book. And people that you know and trust that read books, read those books. Even if you didn't think that you'd be that interested in them. I didn't think I'd like these books, but I love them. They're some of my favorite books now and I would recommend them. So just 
go with your gut feeling. Get that random book from the library or from the bookstore that you think sounds really interesting. Sit down and read it. And then just go with your gut. Just do what you feel like doing. So that's how I got out of my reading slump. I'm still working on it because I'm still reading really slowly. But hey, look at all the books I read while I was in a slump. I think that's pretty good. That's good for me. And so I'm, I'm kind of glad I did this experiment. And I'm glad I got these two new books in my life that I probably, well, I would have read this one, but I probably wouldn't have picked this one up anytime soon if I hadn't been in a reading slump around October, you know, you feel? That's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and tell me how you get out of a reading slump or give me some tips on tricks on how to make my vlogs better or easier ways to get out of a reading slump. Also, go check out my other socials because I am currently live tweeting reading Dear Evan Hansen. And so while I read that, I will be updating that and I will be posting all the bookish things that I possibly can on Instagram. So go check out my Instagram and my Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe because next week I am doing a tea time talk and I'm pretty excited about this topic. It's long overdue. Stick around for that and I will hopefully see you guys next week. Bye. ever get into a position like sitting position and then you're just like okay that was painful getting into this position I don't know how long I want to stay here because like it's not the position itself that's uncomfortable but like getting into the position you you know you like maybe make your foot end up bleeding not from personal experience and then you're just like, was it worth it? So you want to stay in that position because, you know, you, you, your blood getting into that position and you're just like, it's going to be worth it. And then you're just like, is it worth it? Is it worth it really?